So at one point in your life, you were very confident. At one point in your life, you knew what your morals and your beliefs were. You know, at one point in your life, you feel like you could take on the world. Then you found that person that made your heart flutter. That person that you wanted to go to every night just to tell them about your day. So you eventually ended up marrying that person. And then you guys have done so much in during this time that you know you your identities kind of intertwined and then perhaps you've gone you know a couple years even a couple decades and then you find yourself asking now what now you're facing a divorce now you're looking to see how you can find yourself once again because now you're scared now you don't know who you are you've identified yourself as that relationship. You've identified yourself as that other person, as that other half. I mean, by all means, that's what you did, right? We all were at that point to where we married knowing that, right? We took that vow that we would do whatever it took to stay in that marriage. But now it's all said and done. Now you're divorced. Now you are looking for who you truly are and finding yourself. How can you find yourself after perhaps years or decades of being with somebody else and identifying yourself as that relationship? You know, for whatever the reason is, whatever the reason the divorce is, finding yourself is just essentially recreating yourself to who you want to become. Maybe you did lose yourself, but you know, we all change in time either way. So whether that was through the divorce, whether that was, you know, through your marriage, point of the matter is, is that right now, you have to concentrate on you. And I've always found that the easiest way to do that is to do the things that you love, to do the things that you enjoy. And if you don't know what they are, if you feel like you've lost them, if you feel like everything that you have done you know, correlates to some kind of memory that you've had of the other person, or maybe there was something that you held back during that marriage that maybe the other person didn't really care for. So you stopped doing it. Maybe you start doing that again, whatever it is. The point of the matter is, is you have to find those things that make you happy and jump back into those things to create that identity that confidence, those beliefs, those morals that you had before you got married, they're not gonna be the same like they were before. They'll be different and that's okay because you're a new person, you're older, you're growing. This is what happens. We don't have to sit there and blame the other person. For whatever reason, it happened, right? The divorce is a divorce. That is fine, but we wanna let that go because that's no longer part of us. Our identity is something we have to look at ourselves. We need to reconnect with ourselves. And one thing I found that has always helped is to you know, spend time just with your thoughts and your ideas. Spend time actually looking at your thoughts and ideas and what really, truly you enjoy in life. It could be anything. You know, whether it's, you know, you ever always wanted to write that book or perhaps you wanted to start rock climbing or perhaps, you know, you wanted to go, you know, try salsa dancing. But for whatever reason you didn't, you held back. Go do those things. See if you like it. If you like it, then start doing it routinely. That's the biggest thing is you have to find that new routine. And sometimes that's the hardest thing because you're so used to that old routine, right? especially if it's been years or possibly even decades. You're used to a specific routine and when you're out of that routine, you feel helpless, but you don't have to. You just have to establish your new routine. You have to establish all those things that you enjoy. Perhaps some of the old things you can you know, go back into and you can still enjoy them. Or perhaps you'll find new things that you can enjoy. The thing is, is now is the time for you to explore those things that you are curious about. And you can do that. You know, connect with yourself, do whatever it takes. 
you know, spend time working on your mind, spend time working on your body, build that mind and body connection. This will help you self-identify yourself as somebody being confident again, somebody having strong morals, strong beliefs, somebody that knows that they can take on the world again. You don't have to identify yourself as that relationship. That relationship is over. That's fine. You can move on. You will survive. You know, they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And that's exactly what this will do. It'll help you move on. It'll help you find those things that can identify you as that new confident person again. So whatever you gotta do, you know, take the time. Take the time to, to grieve and get over it because any loss is always going to be a painful loss. But it is growth and it makes you stronger and then we move on. Give yourself some time. But in the meantime, while you're giving yourself that time, you need to slowly progress to reaching out to certain things that will actually improve your life at the same time. Don't just allow time to pass and say, I'll wait till later. Start doing some stuff today. Maybe start eating a little healthier. Maybe, you know, start meditation. Maybe start bike riding. Maybe start taking, you know, a kickboxing class. Maybe start writing a book. Maybe start, you know, start a business. Start something. Do something that you're not being tied up about that old identity because you're creating a new identity and it can be fun and it can be exciting. You can recreate yourself into that person you've always wanted to do. Perhaps again, that you felt like you were holding back during the marriage because maybe the person you were with didn't agree with certain things so you can go do it. And that should be exciting to you because now you don't have that other person there to tell you what they want you to do, right? If you feel like maybe you're coming out of a controlling relationship, maybe you feel like now I can just do whatever it is I feel like doing and go do it. Because you have no obligations for the other person. So it can be a very good time. It could be a time in your life where you experience a lot of growth. And again, you're gonna have to get over that little hurdle of just getting over the divorce. But start picking up new habits, start picking up new things that can help get you through. We don't want to pick up bad habits, right? We don't want to identify ourselves as something bad and that this identity is the only thing that we were because it's not. You're an individual, they were an individual. And for whatever reason, now you guys are divorced. That's perfectly fine. But what you're gonna do is continue to move forward. You're gonna continue to be that person that can do whatever it takes to identify yourself as that positive person, that person you've always wanted to be, right? Improve your life, however that may be. Yeah, coming from a divorce, you may feel like you're taking a step back. But sometimes you have to take a slight step back to take two steps forward. And this is your time to take that two steps forward to improve your life, to find who you really are. Find those things that you enjoy. Find those things that spike your interest. And then identify yourself as that. You'll realize that that relationship was just a moment in time that you are this new person with that refound confidence because you can and you will continue to grow. So I hope this helps you guys. If it did, smash that like button. Until next time, I will see you guys later.